Wimbledon officials admit that they were caught off guard by FIFA's scheduling of the World Cup final, a decision that pits soccer's biggest game against the men's singles final on July 15. This has implications of increasing proportions, because England could conceivably be playing in the championship in Moscow, should the three Lions win their quarterfinal against Sweden and their semi-final next week against the Russia-Croatia winner. The World Cup match is set to begin two hours after the men's tennis final begins, a decision that Mick Desmond, the All England club's commercial and media director, said Wednesday came after a dialogue between FIFA and tennis officials. England could conceivably be playing in the World Cup final, which kicks off two hours after the opening serve of the men's tennis final at Wimbledon. Yuri Cortez, AFP, Getty Images, we've always known it was going to be there, we knew 18 months ago. Desmond said. But I think it's slightly surprising that FIFA have the kickoff at 4 o'clock, 11 a.m. Eastern. It's not something they've done in the past but that's their decision, he said. Our tournament, final, always starts at 2 o'clock, 9 a.m. Eastern, and we'll start at 2 o'clock, the average length of the men's final since 2002 is 2 hours, 45 minutes, via the Telegraph, which means there would be some significant overlap, not that many people in England would likely be watching the tennis. Viewership of England's victory over Colombia on Tuesday peaked at 24.2 million during the penalty shootout, which was roughly 81% of the people watching TV in the UK, according to the Telegraph. Andy Murray's 2016 final drew 13.3 million viewers in last year's final, featuring Roger Federer and Marin Cilic, drew a peak of only 6.4 million. The BBC has already adjusted its plans, saying that the men's final would appear on BBC One for one hour, then move to BBC Two for the first time in BBC history. The All England club does not plan to show the soccer match on its grounds, even if England is playing in the final. Article continued below FIFA, of course, isn't budging either, saying that the match time decision was made more than two years ago. Based on the global broadcast market and what a spokesman said was the feasibility for the fans in attendance and watching on TV, I understand now people are waking up to the conflict, the spokesman told The Telegraph, but the decision was already made.